Welcome families, it's GSAF of Butterfly Garden Preschool and today we're going to be talking about an interesting little creature called the horseshoe crab. Let's take a little look at our friend here, the horseshoe crab. As you can see, she has little lateral eyes here and at night the eyes become really sensitive to any light so that the horseshoe crab can find a mate. Here you see the dome, it's hard and it's called a prosoma and it protects the soft body parts and helps so that the predators cannot eat her. Up here, there's something called the median eyes that can sense light and other eyes are located underneath the body on the tail. Now, if you look back here at the tail, this is called a telson, and it helps the horseshoe crab turn over. So lots of times horseshoe crabs end up belly side up, and this tail helps it as a lever to flip itself over. It does not have a stinger back there, but you can get pinched right here in between right here. So you want to be careful if you ever do see a horseshoe crab. The best time to see them in Delaware is in May or June when they're spawning or having their babies. And if you ever do see one on its belly side up, you don't want to grab it from its tail, but right up here and turn it on over so that it doesn't dry out. And the last body part I want to talk to you before I read you the story are these little spiky areas called apithosoma and this is what gives its body flexibility and protects its gills. One last fact is that horseshoe crabs bleed blue blood. What color is our blood? Yeah it's definitely not blue. So the copper in their blood cause um, their blood to turn blue when it hits the air. Because our blood has iron in it, it looks red when it hits the air. Let's start our story called High Tide for Horseshoe Crabs. It's starting one spring night, the first horseshoe crab lunges onto shore. They're arriving. More horseshoe crabs follow, just as generations have done since before the time of the dinosaurs. Adult horseshoe crabs crawl from the muck of their winter homes and swim towards land. Millions of horseshoe crabs head for Delaware Bay. High tides carry them far up into the beach where their eggs will develop best. They're flapping. On flickering wings, flocks of shorebirds fly through wind and rain through day and night. Some of these birds weigh only as much as a handful of paper clips. Still, they are powerful enough to fly thousands of miles from South America all the way up to the Arctic where they will lay their eggs. One of the few stops they make along the way is on the shores of Delaware Bay. They're traveling. Scientists journey to Delaware Bay from around the world. Some come to study the horseshoe crabs. Others come to study the birds. Citizen scientists, both adults and children, come year after year to observe and help the professional scientists gather data. Families on vacation curious about the commotion also stop to watch. They're laying. So many horseshoe crabs crowd the shore that their shells clatter against one another. Each female horseshoe crab, with a male clinging to her back, searches for a bare patch of sand. She burrows down and lays a golf ball-sized cluster of green eggs. Her digging disturbs other horseshoe crabs, exposing them to waves and water. They're landing. Bony and weak, the migrating shorebirds arrive in Delaware Bay. They are very hungry. Very, very hungry. Remember, they've been traveling a long way. It's happening. What's happening there? What are those horseshoe crabs doing? And what are all those people doing in the picture? 
They're tagging. Scientists tag horseshoe crabs each spring. Months or even years later, when people find tagged horseshoe crabs on the beach and report them, scientists learn answers to basic questions. How far does this animal travel? How long does it live? How many horseshoe crabs are out there in the sea? They're feasting. The birds find an easy meal. Tiny, nutritious horseshoe crab eggs float in the water. They drift along the tide line. They mix in with the sand. The bird's long beaks are just right for digging. During the two weeks a bird spends along the shores of Delaware Bay, it gobbles so many thousands of horseshoe crab eggs that it may double its body weight. Wow, that's a lot of eggs to double its body weight. They're growing. Plenty of little green horseshoe crab eggs rest deep in the sand, protected from pointy bird beaks, scientists probes, and crashing waves. Each day, inside each egg, a shapeless bundle of cells begins to look more and more like a miniature horseshoe crab. Do you see them here? And then they're leaving. One evening when their bodies are fat and the wind is just right, whoosh, in a whirl of wings, the birds leave. Some stragglers keep feeding for a few more days, but most of the birds zoom up to the Arctic to lay their own eggs. So they stopped at Delaware Bay to get a big meal to get their bodies ready to lay their own eggs in the Arctic. They're leaving. Scientists and vacationers brush sand off their binoculars. They pack up data sheets, beach chairs and stories, and then return home to share what they've learned. They're leaving too. Most adult horseshoe crabs ride tides and currents back into deep water. Others won't reach water quickly enough though and will die on the shore. About two weeks later, the young horseshoe crabs burst from their eggs. Now nearly the size of ladybugs, they crawl from the moist sand and swim away to their own journey. It's over. Until next year. When I read this story the, for the first time, it made me want to go to Delaware Bay to visit and observe the horseshoe crabs coming onto shore to spawn. Maybe it's a place that you will want to visit one day and help the scientists take data. Let me show you where Delaware is on a map. If you look on this map, here's California where we live and all the way across the United States, on the other side of the United States, near the Atlantic Ocean, we're near the Pacific Ocean, but near the Atlantic Ocean, here is where Delaware Bay is. I hope you've enjoyed learning some new things about horseshoe crabs. Remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notification of our future lessons.